Yo, what's going on guys? So today we're back with another video. Today's gonna to be the unboxing of the Gamma Plus Cyborg Trimmer. So I went over the reasons why I was testing out different tools in the last video, so check that out and you'll be able to find out a bit more information why I was doing this. But we're gonna go over the how the clipper cuts, working with it and living a bit on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm gonna put in some clips now for the unboxing itself and for you to see how the clipper actually operates while I'm working and you can be able to see the trims I've done with the tool. Hopefully you enjoy it. Sweet, so now today we're gonna to unbox the Gamma Plus Cyborg Trimmer. It's metal case, brushless motor. Let's open the box and see what's inside. So you got your accessory box. Which comes with a Phillips screwdriver, Gamma logo on it. Extra screws, oil and a brush. This comes with a, not too sure what this is. It's a blade setter. So, something I might need to look into later on to adjust my blade if need be. Put that on the side. And you've got a USB-C cable. Not too sure what the USB-C is for, but we'll have a look and figure that out. Nice little standing base. Move that to the side. Still see everything in it. Pretty cool detail in the box, I must say. Charger, three pin for the use of the copper again. In the box, you've got your instruction manual, warranty, the zero guide, zero gap guide setting. So I'll move the box to the side so you can see that. I don't need this for the time being. Yep, same as the clipper, it's got a brushless motor, full metal case. Pretty quiet. Come out fully charged, lovely. Probably put it right to work. I'm not too sure how this blade cuts or what type of blade it is, but I'm gonna give it a go, see if I need to zero gap it. From what I've seen before and heard of, they do cut pretty well. So yeah, definitely looking forward to use this and the trimmer, well, this is the trimmer. So I'm definitely looking forward to using this and the clipper, see how they perform and see if it's gonna take out anything from my actual collection. So, let's see, pretty sturdy in there, nice. So we're just cleaning up the side of my boy's hair right now, he's got pretty thick hair texture, and as you can see, he's just cutting through his hair nice and effortlessly. As I said before, the blade has not been zero gap, and one thing that I love about it is making that lovely crunching sound. I'm sure a lot of you guys love this sound too. And I gotta add, the power of this motor is making this job so much easier. So we're just shaping up my boy right now. Blade ain't been zero gaps, and as you can see, it's hitting them lines nice and sharp. There's no irritation or snagging on the skin, which is exactly what you want from a trimmer. setting in the guideline for the fade. Not a technique that I usually use, but for the purpose of the video, I just wanted to show you how the clip is hitting in different ways. It's taken off the hair nice and easy, cleaning up the sides nice and smooth, no snagging, no irritation. And like I said, you just gotta love how it just goes through the hair nice and effortlessly. And just to add that crunching sound is just perfect. Everybody loves it, I know I do. So just 
finishing them off, getting the shape up nice and crispy, nice and sharp. And the blade is just doing it nice. I just love how it's going through it. You don't need to go over it too much. So it means no irritation on the skin, which is the best thing that you want from a tool. So just shaping up these sideburns, the trimmer is hitting nice and smooth, again no snagging or irritation on the skin, perfect lines, bringing it to a nice sharp edge, and I'm sure a little bit of them perfect lines is a bit of me, love it. What's going on everybody, so back in the shop today to go over the Gamma Plus Cyborg Trimmer. I've been using it for the past month now. Like I said before, it was to be, am I gonna replace something in my collection with these? So you know sometimes you get stuck using the same clipper and you don't really wanna drift away from it. So what I was using before were the OG Gold FX Pros and then I moved over to the Low Pro FX didn't really use these ones as much as my gold low as my gold FX skeletons. So I didn't want to just get caught up using the same tool because like when I did try them, I was like, yo, these hit so good. I used to use the wall detailer before this. And I was like, you know what, let me try something different. And sometimes other people might want my opinion on what I recommend as well. Or you might be stuck trying to buy something different and you might use the same tools that I used in the past. So it might be helpful to you. So back to the trimmer now. They hit so well. They bolt cut like anything, that I, like better than a lot of the trimmers I've used before. And what I do like about it, it kind of bolt cuts like a, like a wall predator if you use something like that, or you see like the big two speed um, trimmers. I don't even know if you can call them trimmers, but the detachable blade clippers. These hit, I would say, almost as powerful as them, and they're smooth as hell as well. They're sharp. I've used these straight out of the box, I ain't even zero gapped it and I don't even think I will bother zero gapping it because this digital gapping that they've done has definitely done the job. Um, what I do like about this as well, similar to the trimmer that I was using as well, is the lights that, can, that come up on it so it'll tell you battery life that clipper's got, that trimmer's got on it. Only thing I do find annoying sometimes, I do feel like they're a bit bright in your face. Like it'll be nice if you could reduce the brightness levels on it. I don't really like how bright it is, but some people might like it. That's just a personal opinion on it. Like got them on, they're pretty quiet as well. So when you're using them, working, talking to your customers while you're trimming, it is quite good because you can actually still have a conversation with them without the clippers buzzing away like. Don't know if you can tell the difference in the video. These ones ain't too bad, but comparing them, obviously these have got miles in it compared to these. I've only been using it for about a month, but I haven't actually used any of my other trimmers since I purchased these ones. So it is something that I would definitely recommend. They do have a bit of weight to it, but I don't mind that I do like something that feels a little bit weighty. I don't really like very lightweight tools. I think they feel a bit toyish from my personal opinion. Is it something that I would recommend though, which is the important question? And it's 100%. This is something that is staying in my collection. Definite recommendation. It is probably one of the more pricier clip trimmers on the market at, I think about 225 to 250 pounds. But it's worth every penny. I like that it's got a little USB-C port at the back. That's, that's focusing on it here. And then you've got the stand charger as well, which is real, it is, it is really good. Like it is great value for money. It can be a bit pricey compared to the other trimmers that's on the market, but I feel like it is worth every penny. And I feel like the price of the trimmer and even the clipper as well, that comes out as a duo, is what's stopping it from being a big hit on the market. 
But I just thought I'll gamble with it and try something a little bit different, like I said. I haven't actually used my other trimmers since I've had these. Maybe I might have used my gold FX Skeletons to do like a pattern or something like that because I just feel like the blades are a little bit finer or it could be something I'm just more used to. But nine times out of 10, I'd definitely go for the um, Cyborg trimmers. They hit perfectly, they crunch nicely. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, it will be very good and useful if you could like and subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna be releasing more content soon. Peace.